Hey everybody and welcome to the Miniature Showcase. In this episode, we're going to take a look at hassle-free miniatures. Personally, I love hassle-free miniatures. Hassle-free makes rule agnostic miniatures, which means that the minis are not made for any particular rule set, but we are welcome addition to any rules that are open to any range of miniatures. So, let's have a look at a small sample of miniatures from hassle-free. We'll start with a familiar miniature that I featured on this channel a few years ago. This was done by Lai Su and I think deserves a second look. This figure is a variant of the figure that won the 2004 FU UK Sculpting Competition. Lai Su went one extra mile with this figure, with a little bit of bunny feel on the base and a technique to give the dress a very see-through result. I love how he's put some effort into making the base as well. He worked the Alice in Wonderland theme with the base from just using the playing cards. This next figure is no longer available on the hassle-free site, but it's a good example of a figure you can use as either an alternative figure to your existing games or just a figure to play many different miniature agnostic rule sets that are available. This particular figure was used in a Savage Worlds game that Shinobi ran in the shop a while back. Next up is this figure also done by Shinobi. I'll read the description Hassle Free has on their website on this figure. Mad Dog is a suave and sophisticated zombie hunter who unfortunately got caught with his trousers down. Aren't implying that he was up to no good but merely that when the trail of the hunt calls, there are obviously more important things to think about than putting your trousers on. At least, he remembered his fire axe and his protective helmet, although I am not sure what use they would be with a bunch of zombies approaching. He's approximately 28mm to eye level. Unquote. Shinobi decided to go for a more tan skin when painting this figure, and this gave a slightly more solid look. Shinobi also went the extra mile with the base for the figure, adding a little bit of humour by painting a small, well, accident stain on a zombie killer's white tees. According to the hassle-free website, the description for this figure is just female warrior with living axe. Such a simple description for a very detailed miniature, this is one of those figures that tells a story in just one piece. Kaylee is obviously back from a successful battle or hunt and in her hand is one of her unlucky opponents brought home as a trophy. Again, Shinobi works the base to enhance this already beautiful figure. When I first set eyes on this figure, I could only smile. It was a double joy that this figure is also called Baba. My joy is pretty much due to the fact that this particular figure reminds me of the character in the horror comedy Baba Hotep. This was a movie that had Bruce Campbell as a title role. He plays an Elvis impersonator who is convinced he's Elvis and he takes on an ancient evil. Come on, how could you not want to paint that? And finally, we have Ray. Ray is very reminiscent of a certain zombie survivor whom, with the aid of his good friend and a cricket bat, manages to survive a zombie attack. Again, this is a figure I got simply because it got me all nostalgic for the Shaun of the Dead movie, which for me at least ranks up there with some of my favourite zombie movies. I tried my best to get the figure done as close as possible to the actual character in the movie, but it was not very easy to get the face right. I think I made Ray look rather mean. Regardless, this figure would sit perfectly on an independent zombie game, like perhaps Last Days, Zombie Apocalypse. Or, no more room in hell. I mean, a cricket bat and a shovel has been known to offer a rather brutal form of zombie attack. I mean, guns are great, but come on. Throughout this video, I've showed some agnostic rule sets that you can use with these figures, or just support the rule sets and get figures from all these different manufacturers that we will at some point feature. It's important to note that some of these figures featured here are at the time of airing out of stock. But the website is a joy to browse. The link is in the description. Let me know if you like this video with a like, 
and a subscribe and also comment if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one.